we're going to use the end derived function or program on your calculator to try to figure out what the derivative of the natural log of x is. And then we're going to try and graph that and guess what function f prime is. So natural log is an interesting character when it comes to doing the formal definition of a derivative. If we plug it into that the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h and then we take the limit as h approaches zero. If we do all that funny business with the natural log of x, not an easy thing to do because we can't, it's hard to get things to cancel out. All right. So let's just take a look at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the old handy dandy calculator and we will We're going to focus on this for right now, and then we'll look at the picture. A student is trying to find a picture of me with a mullet from like the 80s, and she found it, and she's really excited. So anyways, let me finish this problem, then we'll look at the mullet pic. Um, you should put it on the video. I'll put it, yeah. So all your YouTube videos. Yeah, I'll make a video. Let's do, let's do, maybe I could do like a, one of those, uh, maybe I could do like a video of all Mr. Adam's 80s and 90s hairstyles. Yeah. Because I went through a variety do like, of them. Do you have like a fro and stuff too? No. Do you have a pair? Parachute pants? No. I have, yes, I own several pair. I had I had corduroy parachute pants for when I wanted to get fancy. Oh gosh. And I had a really nice black sweater with like leather strips on it. Fancy. Yeah. So when I wanted to get real fancied up. All right. So let's focus on this uh, problem. <laughs> what we want to do? No. We want to look at the natural log, okay, of x. And when I look at the graph, the derivative is going to represent the slope of the tangent line as we go through uh, this graph here, okay? And so we can graph that, but we have to do like a table of values. So what they're suggesting is, um, what is the domain of the natural log of x? Well, we know that um, the domain of the natural log of x, for example, if I were to hit zero, the natural log of zero is, well, it's not defined. We'll talk about that later. But the natural log of one has a value of zero. The natural log of two has a value and so on and so forth. So what I want to do is I want to create a list and then we'll graph the list um, of a bunch of x values. So I'm going to start with the, and we're just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, and, and go from there. So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's enough. And so now what I want to do is we want to find um, the derivative of this function evaluated at whatever the corresponding x value is. So I'm going to try something here. If I go up and I select this, if I click um, and derive, then I enter in the natural log of x, comma, and evaluate x. comma at L1. So now to get to L1, is that number one? Is that what that is? Yeah. Now I think this will work. Let's see. No, it won't work. So now I got to do it manually. Wah, wah, wah. So I'm going to write this down on a piece of paper so that way I can just uh, copy or just write it down and plug it in the calculator in a second. So I'm going to go to the home screen because we're going to practice this. And uh, if I go second catalog, um, is there a shortcut for to get to end arrive? Easier than going to catalog. No, well you could go to the math menu. If you go to the math menu, it's in here somewhere. If you go to, but I mean it's not any quicker. You got to scroll way down. So it's there. Okay. Um, and then we can type in natural log of x, comma x, comma 1. 
and then I hit enter. And so here, when x equals 1, f prime of x equals 1.00003, right? And I'll zoom out so you guys can see that because we're going to have to plug that in the list. So now if I hit second entry, if I go second, enter, it'll pull up what I just entered, and I'm just going to slide over here and change the 1 to 2, right? And now I get 0.5. Now all this other stuff, remember this is an approximation, so that 4, 7, I could care less about that. So I'm going to hit second, enter, and then I'm going to change my 2 to a 3. And now I get uh, 0.3. Now I'm going to hit second enter, and I'm just going to do this with all these uh, numbers. So when x equals 4, I get 0.25. What do you notice I'm getting? It's getting smaller and smaller. Well, there's a pattern here. We were looking at the decimals, right? We're looking at the decimals. Let's do it again. I can, I'm going to guess. It's going that the next number will be 0.125. Because it's going from one half to one fourth. Or not, not point two. It would be uh, point two or something like that. Point two, right? So really, really, we have one over one. Then we have one over two, one over three, one over four, and then one over five. So now what function is that? 1 over x. Uh, 1 over x. Is that the line we're looking for? Huh? Are we looking for, in the example I asked you to guess a certain graph or something? So now, <coughs> what, that's what we had to do. Now let's see what the textbook says. <coughs> so my textbook says, I'm pull that down. My textbook says, um, can you guess the function f prime? And it says here, oh yeah, if you graph those points, it looks like 1 over x. You guys figured it out before we even graphed it. But we could graph it, and then you would see that the derivative of this is 1 over x. So what did we just figure out? Well, we figured out that if you take the function, in other words, y equals the natural log of x, then y prime would be what? 1 over x. 1 over x. Not too snazzy. Now you could you could do that algebraically, but a man is it it's it's really hard. What's the derivative of y over x? Y equals x. Huh? What's the derivative of 